Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to say to the survivors or to the people who are in toxic relationships, who have experienced toxic relationships, that your feelings are valid and worth exploring. Your feelings are valid and worth exploring. When you hang around toxic people, when you hang around or when you're involved with a narcissist, we know that they are trying to get you to push yourself to the side. And this includes your feelings, your thoughts, your wants, your needs, your desires. And they gaslight you. They play dumb. They try to manipulate you. You know, they act like they ain't hear nothing. You know, turning a blind eye. They want you to do that to yourself. They want you to deny yourself. And what does that eventually get you? You know, that gets you deep rooted into this toxic relationship. And then you feel this lost sense of self, right? And then eventually you're just confused. You're just confused because on one hand, you feel all this stuff. And then on, on another hand, you're suppressing it. And then you have this person over here trying to rewrite history, rewrite the facts, rewrite the truth, try to tell you what you didn't see that you saw, what you know that they're telling you that you don't know. And it's just a bunch of confusion. And that leads to what? Conflicts, inner conflicts, external conflicts. And what does that do? That robs you of your peace, your sanity, <laughs> So I want you guys to get stronger within yourself so that, you know, regardless to who's co-signing what, who's going to believe or not believe something, who's going to stand by your side or not stand by your side, you know what you know, you saw what you saw, you felt what you felt, you want what you want, you deserve what you deserve. And so forth and so on. And no one's going to come and shake that from you. No one's going to come and manipulate you away from that. Because you're going to be so strong within yourself. And you're going to remember how it felt to not be that way. And you're going to refuse to go into that again. To go into that space and place. You're not going to allow anybody to try to pull you down into that space and place anymore. Forget that. Forget that. You're keeping it real moving forward. You are keeping it real with yourself moving forward. And if somebody else don't want the realness, they can keep it moving. They can keep it moving. Because no more of that fakery. No more of the future faking. No more of the lies and games. No more of lying to yourself to help other people feel better about their false mask and, and what they got going on. No more biting your tongue and pretending like you don't know, suppressing the truth for your, from yourself and others. No more of that, survivors. I don't want you guys to be doing that. Be okay with losing people. Let them go. Trust me, the people that are meant to stay in your life, they will stay in it. And they will be happy to do it. And they will add positively to your life. They're not going to be like crabs in a barrel trying to pull you down into the darkness, into the trenches, trying to break your spirit, suck the life out of you. That's not what they're going to be doing. They're not going to be trying to dim your light. They're going to be trying to brighten it. They're going to try to encourage you and uplift you. Be okay with letting go of people that need to be let go of. And that's these toxic people. There's nothing that you need to learn from them. There's nothing, nothing. You can take whatever lessons you've had from that dealings and learning how to love yourself and stand up for yourself and be okay with standing by yourself. You know, not relying on other people emotionally. In, and in a whole bunch of other areas that we can rely on people being self-sufficient. But your feelings are valid. You know, I don't want you second guessing yourself. I don't want you questioning yourself after someone tries to bamboozle you.
Your feelings are valid and they're worth exploring because guess what? Once you start exploring those feelings, it's going to reveal to you how much you need to get that person out of your life or how much that situation is not serving you. Because the vibes don't lie. The energy don't lie. And the actual facts that you're seeing don't lie. It's just that sometimes we get all mixed up in our emotions and what we wanted for the relationship that we are not stemming things off of the reality and we're not stemming things off of the actual facts. And that's what hurt us. And that's what keep us in that cycle because you're not going off of your logic. You're all in your emotions. And that's not necessarily stemming off of facts. Usually emotions are not stemming off of facts. But if you look at the situation black and white and what's really going on and you are, you know, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling like I'm getting less than? Because I am. And here are the facts that support that. <laughs> it's really that simple. It's really that simple, but sometimes we're making excuses because we're in a sort of denial and we don't want to let go. We don't feel like we're ready to let go. So we're trying to, we're bamboozling ourselves as well. Sometimes, you know, a lot of external people are doing it and then we're doing it as well. We're jumping in there and doing it as well out of our own toxicity and out of our own comfort zone of not wanting to let something go, something or someone. But life is about change. It is. It is. It's constantly about change. Every day we grow a day older <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with growing a day wiser. We don't have to stay in our ignorance. We don't have to stay in the dark about things. We don't have to continue to live our life a certain way. And some people, you know, oh, I'm this age now. It's over for me. No, it's not. As long as you're waking up another day, you can change. You can make a dip. You can make something different. It does not have to stay the same. I don't care if before this video, you was living a lie. You were in self-deception. You can say right now that's over for me. I don't care if you was doing it eight minutes ago before this video started. You can change your life in any second. That's the beauty of life. You're given this time that you can't get back. I can't get back one second ago. <laughs> None of us can. But you can make a change moving forward. And in your present and moving forward. You can make that change. I don't care how old or how young you are. I don't care how many times you look this way in front of this one and that one. You know, it doesn't matter. You can make that change and decide, you know what, I'm keeping it real from now on. If I don't keep it real, I'm keeping it real with myself. And as long as you're doing that, you're going to be keeping it real with everybody else. Be real with yourself and then you'll be real with everything around you as well. It'll fall into place that way. All right, but we have to stop lying and stop letting other people pull us away from our truth. All right. When they messed up and they broke your heart and they trying to act, minimize it, like they didn't really just crush your soul because <laughs> they don't want to let you go and they want to continue to use you and manipulate you. That's why you have to have your own back. You have to increase your emotional maturity and you have to be brave enough and wise enough to say, you know what? It is what it is. I see this situation for what it is. And I'm okay with calling a duck a duck. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with being frank about that. And I'm damn sure okay with letting it go. <laughs> okay? Because I don't need that in my life. I don't want nothing that's going to be pulling my energy down. Be okay with losing the headaches, losing the dead weight, losing the drama, losing the toxic people. Be okay with it. Cut that attachment. Cut it off. It's not serving you well. And step out of the denial and into the truth, guys. All right? So I really wanted to make this video to make that point. Your feelings are valid and worth exploring. There's a reason why you don't, there's a reason why you don't feel quite at ease around that person. There's a reason why. 
when you look in their eyes, something seems a little off. There's a reason why you feel a little out of place, even though you're trying to force the issue. There's a reason why you're going against the grain and your guts and your discernment and your intuition is trying to tell you. Is trying to tell you. Now, how far do you want it to go? How far do you want to fight against the resistance? How long do you want to deny the truth? And what are the consequences of that? How many more offenses will come? How much more hurt and pain and devastation uh, will you experience? And then how much more will you have to recover from overall? And, you know, when you could just nip that in a bud a lot sooner, guys. We get better at exploring our feelings, feeling them, having that awareness. And you know what? Why do I feel that way? Why does this person rub me the wrong way? I'm not going to keep furthering the connection with them when I'm feeling this. And this is what we have to stop doing. All right, survivors. So I hope that this message helps somebody out there who, you know, is used to letting other people minimize their offenses against you. Let them rewrite the truth with their lies and you're buying it. You're buying it, but it's it's not fulfilling you because deep down inside in your subconscious, you know. You know something is wrong and you know that that's not the truth and you know that it's not right. And it's breaking you inside. And you can't be happy. You cannot be happy living in fakeness, living in lies and not being your authentic self. That's not what you were put here for. That's not what you were put here for to be somebody else's puppet. That's not what you were put here for. And there's no way that you could be happy that way. So that's what you're sacrificing, your peace and your happiness to stay in the disillusion for whatever the crumbs that you think you're getting out of that toxic situation. This, that's still an illusion because that's not what you think, what you think it is either. Okay, guys. So please take heed to that and make that decision for yourself. If you haven't, and for those of you that have wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, and stay that way. Okay, you can't please everybody, and that's all right. You don't need to try to please everyone. Please yourself. Be at peace with yourself. Guard your own happiness and peace of mind. Okay, guys? So if this video resonates with you guys, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. All right, hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos, which is quite frequently. Okay, I have a support group, guys, over on Facebook, Lakia Reflection and Progression Crawford. That link is below in the description. It's also on the About page. Um, it's a support group for survivors of narcissistic abuse. Feel free to come over. It never hurts. <laughs> Adding support in your life when you're healing from narcissistic abuse is never going to hurt you as a survivor, okay? Just inbox me and let me know that you are a survivor. I get a lot of requests and honestly, I don't want to let narcissists in. I don't want to let trolls and haters in there as well. So, you know, let me know who you are. All right. I have a website, LakiaCrawford.com guys, and many things are available there on that site. You can schedule coaching with me. I offer that over the phone, Skype and FaceTime and through email. All right. You can Book your appointment on my website or, you know, sometimes people get in where they fit in. They hit me up on social media. They email coachlakia at gmail.com. If you see an appointment time that's not available on the site, because I know we're all on different time zones, just go ahead and email coachlakia at gmail.com and we can go from there. Okay. I've written four therapeutic books, guys, and this is a great way to fill the void um, after narcissistic abuse. If you like my channel, you will definitely like the books. They are available for purchase through my website, LakiaCrawford.com. You will get a signed copy sent personally from me. From me. Otherwise, they're available on uh, Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com, guys. Um, those copies will not be signed. You can get the ebook and a hard copy from them. They just won't be signed. All right. I have no Narc Zone merchandise on LakiaCrawford.com. Cute hats and um 
t-shirts, matching t-shirts, mouse pads, bumper stickers, coffee mugs. Go ahead and take a look at what I have. You can make your statement against narcissistic abuse and have fun with your fashion at the same time. All right. Um, other than that, is there something else? <laughs> I always try to get my little announcements and just keep doing the work, guys. Just keep doing the work. And like I said, it's never too late. You know, a lot of you just, you know, you get sucked into these patterns and it's hard for you to break it. And you feel like, well, I've been doing it this long. No, it's never too late. I don't care if you're 100 years old. It's never too late to start getting real and honest. As a matter of fact, <laughs> please don't leave the earth living a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's even more the older we get. Because time is precious, all right? Time is precious, guys. So, until next time, guys, please take care.